Thanks for coming around to watch our second video when it comes to programming your FANUC robot. Previously, if you haven't seen it, we started a program from scratch. We added in a quick door open code. This second video is gonna include getting our robot to move above our puck, go down and get ready for a pickup. Remember to stick around for all of our great FANUC content because at the end of the day, this series is gonna get you ready to pick up a piece of material from point A and put it into your machine for point B. So let's get started. Now, the next step is going to actually be making sure that our robot is in what we call a perch position. A perch position can be programmed to whatever you like, but at the end of the day, it is going to be the position that your robot goes to before your program can actually run and that will also be recognized on your machine control panel. It'll actually have a button that says whether your robot is in a perch position or not. So that's why we add it to the beginning of our program. To do this, we're gonna plot our first point, which is F1. And we are going to just leave it at number one. Hit enter. And we're actually gonna go back up to that scroll on over until we have this option of F4 and F5. We're gonna hit F4 for choice, and we're gonna change it from a P to a PR, which is where we hold our registers. From here, we can enter what I already know as the robot perch position, which is number 32. And if you wanted to make sure that it's at the perch position right now, we hold our dead man, hit reset, hold shift and hit forward. The robot will move if it is not in the perch position. If it already is, then no harm done. So from here, we're gonna move our robot arm to get into a nice pickup position so we can go get that puck. I'm gonna hold my dead man, hit reset, shift, and in this top right corner, you'll be able to see that right now we're in group one, which is our robot, joint. So when I move my X axis, in this case is gonna be joint one, you'll see that it rotates. Around towards my puck. And I can go from this position inward towards the puck. I can go down in Z. And that's a nice little starting point. So we can go directly down to pick up our puck. So to keep this, we're gonna go down to line three, hit F1 to leave a point, and we're gonna leave it in joint. Hit enter, and you'll see a little at symbol pop up to the right of our J, which is our joint, and that lets us know that we're at position one. Now from here, what I like to do is change from a G1 joint by hitting my coordinate button to a jog frame, world positioning, tool position, user frame, these are all different values that I have put in previously that will also be done in later videos. And it just relates to either the work coordinate system of your robot for world, which is center, or what I'm gonna use jog frame, which revolves around the end effector of your robot. We're gonna hold our dead man, hit reset, shift, and now you'll notice that the axes actually move different when I hold Z. You have multiple moving at once instead of just the one joint. That's the difference between using joints and some of the other coordinate systems. So now we're gonna get a little closer to our puck. 
we're gonna try to get our grippers in the center of the puck. You can always slow down the speed that your robot's moving at by the lower button down here, which is a minus. And if you're not holding shift, you'll see that it goes down by 5%. If you hold shift and hit minus, it goes to five. If you hit up, it'll go to 50. So from here is when I will go down to possibly 5% and move my Z down to where my robot is actually going to be picking up the puck. And I'll go down, hit F1 for point, enter. And this is gonna be where I'm actually gonna tell my robot grippers to close. So now that we're right above the puck, in the next video, we're gonna be actually getting the codes in to close our gripper. And we're gonna be adding some lines of code to get that puck off of the ground and into the machine. Make sure to stick around and check out our academy if you wanna see more fanning content, chips flying, CAD, CAM, we have all of it there on the Academy. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.